Here's over how to basically highlight things in InDesign. I was kind of surprised that this wasn't built into InDesign as it is, but there is a pretty easy workaround uh, in case you have a list of things and you want to highlight some of them. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is just highlight a sample of what you're trying to highlight and then go into the character panel and if you don't have that open right now it's just under window uh, type and tables character so go in there and click this drop down arrow and then you wanna first you can just click underline to underline it and then go into underline options and from there that's how you're gonna actually set up the highlight it's kinda like a weird workaround so you're gonna wanna pick a color for the highlight let's just do yellow since that's nice and visible um, and the only two things you really got to worry about from here are the weight and the offset. Uh, the weight will always just be slightly larger than what the type is itself. So this type is 12 point. So let's make the weight of the underline 13 point. And as you can see, as it's previewing here, the underline is actually going straight down the middle of the bottom there. So we're going to want to change the offset until it looks pretty good. It's at negative four right now. So let's just hit okay and actually look at it. Um, it's a little bit too low still. So I'm gonna highlight it again, go back to the character drop-down menu, back into underline options. We'll try negative five, hit okay. A eh, little bit too high. So let's go right between those two and we should be right where we need to be. So let's do a negative 4.5. All right, looks pretty good. So once you get that set, and it looks the way you want it to look, uh, just highlight it again. And then go over here to the character styles uh, icon. It looks like an A with a little drop down arrow. Click that, and then you want to hit new character style. So you can name the style. We can call it like highlight text. Um, for shortcut, uh, you can just enter in whatever shortcut you want to use. I'm going to try control one here. On a Mac, I was using Option 1 or, you know, whatever you can find yourself using. Uh, but Control 1 is easy for me to remember, so let's use that for now. And hit OK. So this way, when you're going through your work, you can just highlight it and hit Control 1 or whatever you set the shortcut to be, and it will quickly highlight what you're doing. And if you ever want to turn this off, you don't want it highlighted anymore, you just actually end up hitting uh, that underline button up here and it turns off, or you can alternatively go through your character menu and just uncheck underline, or as it's showing on my computer, shift control U. But yeah, really easy. Uh, it's kind of weird that the workaround has to even exist. I'm kind of surprised it's not built in, but since it's not, uh, this is a great way to kind of make it happen for you quickly and easily. So thanks for watching, and if you liked the video, or if it was helpful, hit like, and that's it.